Welcome everybody back to Suburbs of Seattle for video number two of the day and today we're going to be talking about should you buy a home in 2022 and I have good news and uh, bad news well not bad news just news news I guess for you if you're a buyer so let's get going <laughs> is the fact that your negotiating power has gone through the roof. If you're also somebody who has sold their home and is now a buyer, right? You capitalized on your equity or you're, or you're trying to sell capitalize on your equity and you're trying to buy a home now. The good news for you is that now contingent offers are being accepted. I got one accepted yesterday for a client who's selling their property out of state and they're buying over here. Contingent offers are getting accepted now because houses are sitting on the market longer. The days on market has gone through the roof as well. Before in the last few years, as you guys know, we've had two to three days on market, bam, sold. Two to three days on market, bam, sold. And they were only on the market for two to three days because the agents would be setting offer review dates and saying, hey, we're gonna review offers on a specific date. It would have been zero days on market because most houses were getting offers day one, literally day one on the market. I had listings that sold the same day too. This is what's been happening, but like I said, now the tide is changing. Now houses are sitting more days on the market, contingent offers are getting accepted, right? And it's easier for a buyer to negotiate. So if you're looking to buy a home now, my number one strategy that I would do is target homes that have been sitting on the market anywhere from 15 to 30 days, because believe me, most agents sadly don't educate their clients on what the market's doing now, not what it's done before. Everybody knows, the whole, the whole world knows how hot the market's been. But most agents aren't educating on what's happening this week, in the last two weeks in the market, right? With rising interest rates happening all over the country, everything has shifted. And what that does to you as a buyer is it opens up a world of opportunities. If a house is sitting 15 days on the market, you better believe it that the seller of the home is starting to second guess their price. They're starting to second guess what their agent told them, what their neighbor told them down the street who sold for $5 million more than asking price, right? These are all the things that go through a seller's head when they're sitting on the market for two, three weeks longer than their agent told them, right? Most agents are still telling people that, hey, you know, two to three days in the market, market's hot, market's hot. No, it's not. Could be a rapper in my other life. Well, the only other life is eternal life. So, hey, what do you know? You came to a little church session. Anyways, <laughs> so, yes, Jesus is the way. Um, my gosh, I go off on little tantrums. Back into it. <laughs> So as a buyer, these are the opportunities opening up for you. And I don't know how long they're going to stay open. I really don't. Um, because now we're on the cusp of most sellers beginning to realize that, hey, houses are sitting on market for longer, right? It hasn't really become the norm yet. The challenge is when it becomes the norm that, hey, the norm is 30 days on market, then you you can't offer, well, you can, but most likely the seller won't accept your offer of $50,000 less than asking price because the seller knows that the norm is 30 days on market. And I really think that this is only gonna last a few months before everybody realizes that our new normal is 30 to 45 days on market, right? So the next two to three months for you as a buyer are absolutely crucial for negotiations, okay? Whether you sold a house and you're buying another one or you're just buying your first house, absolutely crucial are the next few months for negotiations. So make sure to double down on your home search. See more houses than you were planning to see ever before, right? Go out to every open house, every house that you like, every opportunity out there and start writing offers and negotiating. Hey, seller, I'll give you a hundred grand less. No, you don't want to take it? Great. I have 50 other options on the market right now. This is what you should be doing as a buyer. So if you're looking to buy a home here in the market in the greater Seattle area, 
even down in Oregon. I got a team down in Oregon. Hit me up at the number below. We're going to get you going. We're going to get you in, into a ton of homes, get you pre-approved, and get you a great deal on a property. So call me at the number below if you're looking to do that. Now, let's talk about interest rates, okay? Because this has been a touchy topic for a lot of people. We've had a ton of rising rates. Oh boy, I'm seeing rates in the sixes easily daily now. So what are the options for people who are looking to get a rate lower than what the average rate on the market is right now? Well, let's talk about ARM loans. Man, there's so much cheese here. Sorry guys, <laughs> so much cheesiness. Uh, Yes, let's talk about ARM loans. Uh, 7 one arms, 5 one arms, 10 one arms. What is an ARM loan? Uh, let's talk about a regular home loan first. A regular home loan, you get one interest rate, your payments are broken up over 30 years, right? And that they, they stay the same. The payments stay the same, the interest rate stays the same for that 30 year term, unless you refinance. 7 one, 10 one, 5 one arm loans, the way that they work is you are locked in for an interest rate for a five-year term or a seven-year term or a 10-year term. And after that five, seven or 10 years, that's when the rate starts going up and there's limits on how high they can go up, but then they start going up and you basically get whatever the market rate is at that time. But the benefit of getting a five, one arm, seven, one arm, 10, one arm, I should get a lender in here to really talk to you about all of these uh, different arms. Um, Anyways, I'll get a lender on my show to talk to you guys about this uh, soon so we can kind of go more in depth into this. But the benefit of getting an ARM loan is when you lock in that rate for the five, seven or 10 year term, you actually usually get a lower rate, sometimes up to 1% less of a rate than what the current market is right now. And then you can refinance two to three do years down the line whenever the Fed decides to lower interest rates. And I did see an article somewhere that they want to start lowering them again in 2024, but uh, God only knows how, how that's going to go. I, literally, God's about the only one because I sure as heck don't know. They say one thing sometimes and they do another, but theoretically, you refinance two to three years down the line. For all of my low income buyers, okay, there are, I, I put up a video a long time ago um, about saying don't use down payment assistance programs. And this was the case um, until a new down payment assistance program came out that I did not know about before. So I'm rescinding my statement and here's why. There is a down payment assistance program that actually, uh, it, it does vary based off of location. So for Pierce County, for example, right? You can get up to $55,000 as a down payment and your interest rate will be lower by up to 1% less than the, what the current market is doing right now, which is crazy. The reason why I said don't get them before is because at the time, the down payment programs that I was looking at, the rate was 1% higher. If it was 5% for the normal market, my buyers were at 6.1, 6.2. It was crazy. Not the case anymore. So if you wanna know more about these programs as well, you can call me at the number below. I'll gladly connect you to a lender of mine who can help you out with these programs and uh, get you into one of them. So we can, then we can get you into a home. So if you want that program, call me at the number below. I'd be happy to help you out. So anyways, thanks again, guys. I appreciate all of you tuning in. Thank you, a big thank you to every one of my 51 subscribers. Love you all. Really appreciate you tuning in. And uh, thank you to the 16 of you that watch all of my videos out of those 51. I have a lot of uh, 16 returning subscribers who always watch my videos. So thank you to my loyal followers and fans. And uh, hopefully one day we'll meet soon and I can help you get into your dream home or to sell your home. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I will see you in the next video.